Uh, this is video number two in our Torch Coffee series on espresso and Italian coffee. If you n have not seen our introductory video on introducting you to the espresso machine and grinder and maintenance, uh, it'd be great if you first go back and watch that. In this video, we're going to focus in on pulling a shot of espresso to standards and how to adjust the grinder to keep your espresso tuned in. So who's this video for? We, we want people to watch this video who work at a cafe as a full-time barista. The idea is, is that um, there's baristas at different levels. Some people don't quite feel 100% comfortable yet dialing in a grinder and some people don't even know what I mean by dialing in a grinder. If that's you, this video is exactly for you. But even if you're more advanced than that and you already feel very confident dialing in a grinder, this video may be helpful uh, to you because we're going to also talk about some strategy, some strategies that you can use as a cafe to dial in your grinder more effective and have a more consistent product for your consumer. And at the end of the day, um, consumers want a consistent product. They don't want to come in one day and get an espresso that tastes one day, one way, and come in tomorrow and get something that tastes different. So um, in order to um, make espresso, it's always good to have some great shot glasses. You're going to need a timer, and you're going to need a scale. So. Um, let's go ahead and get started here. At Torch Espresso, we define espresso as being a shot that is between 50 to 70 milliliters made with 17 to 20 grams of ground coffee that's forced through um, at nine bars of pressure with a water temperature of roughly 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 Celsius and has a brew ratio of 1 to 2 to 1 to 4. And what we mean by brew ratio is how much coffee do you have to how much espresso liquid do you get out. So for example, if we use 20 grams, which we're going to be using today, of ground coffee, a 1 to 2 ratio would be 40 milliliters or 40 grams of espresso and a 1 to 4 ratio would be 20 grams of coffee to 80 milliliters and anywhere in that window could make great espresso. Um, generally a lot of people are liking closer to the bottom side of that brew ratio but as long as you keep it consistent and you can get the flavors you want that's great. So before you can dial in a grinder, you need to know what is your goal. What flavor are you looking for from this espresso? If you don't know what goal you are looking for, then there's no way that you can hit that goal. And so for today, using this bean, we're looking for a very balanced shot that has some clear acidity, some great sweetness, with some chocolatey bitterness. When you want to dial an espresso machine, one of the difficulties are is there's so many different factors that can affect your extraction. And all of these factors can influence each other. And so when you change one factor, it affects another factor. Uh, one factor is your ratio of coffee to espresso. Another factor could be your extraction time, the coarseness of your grind, or whether you pre-infuse or not, the roast level, the blend, freshness of the beans, settling, tamping, brew temperature, and the amount of coffee grounds can all affect your extraction. So, especially for a new barista, when you have so many different factors, they're trying to dial in a grinder. If they start changing multiple different uh, factors at one time, they'll never end up with a consistent product. So the strategy that we uh, recommend at Torch Coffee is that your cafe come up with standards for all of these things that you can and eliminate all of the factors that you can. Hopefully your blend isn't changing day to day. 
The freshness of the beans should always be fresh. Your roast level should always be the same. If you're pre-infusing, keep that consistent. Keep your ratio of coffee to brewed espresso the same. Keep your amount of coffee that you're using in the portafilter, your dosing the same. Keep your settling and tamping the same. And if you can keep all of those consistent, the only thing that you should be adjusting is simply the coarseness and fineness of the grinder. And if you do that, and you just give a barista that one parameter to work with of the coarseness and fineness of the grinder to adjust and hit a specific extraction time, then dialing in a grinder is actually very, very simple. So we tried to make this incredibly simple where any barista can do this. And so we're gonna work with one factor. We're gonna keep every other factor the same. And we're just gonna use the coarseness and fineness to adjust the extraction time. Okay, let's now look at the steps to pull in a great shot of espresso. We're gonna remove the portafilter. We're gonna purge. This purging stabilizes the temperature. It cleans the head. And now we're gonna dose our coffee. To dose our coffee, we need to be careful to first tear the scale because we need to tear the weight of the portafilter so that we know how much is actually coffee. Tear the scale. and I'm at 21 grams. So I'm gonna just take a little bit off the top and that should put me right at 20 grams, which is my goal. So I'm right on target with 20 grams of coffee and then I'm gonna tamp nice and straight. And one thing I'm really careful of is the amount of the tamper that is sticking out of the portafilter. And this, this line here, and I wanna keep nice and straight I want to clean the rim off. If you have too much grounds on the rim of your uh, portafilter, it destroys this little garment up here. I want to insert and brew immediately. We want to look at our puck and the puck should be nice and firm, like this. This is a great looking puck. And when, you, when it comes out of the portafilter, it's a puck, it's nice and firm. This is what we want to look for. This tells us that we've dosed the correct amount of coffee. Each portafilter is gonna require a different amount of coffee. I've played around with this portafilter a little bit and I know that 20 grams look, works really well. Now let's look at how coarseness can affect the brew time of our espresso. We're gonna keep all other factors the same. We're only gonna change the grind coarseness. So we're still using 20 grams of ground coffee to brew our espresso every time. You'll notice I'm settling each time with two gentle tamps. 20 grams of espresso. And that's what more what I'm looking for is that the coffee comes out more like three to four seconds and then you get a nice rat tail on both sides. And this is a nice 30 second shot. And there's no way to know if your espresso is good unless you taste it. So we're gonna taste our espresso.
And this is exactly what we're looking for. We have some lemon acidity, we have some caramely sweetness, and we have some chocolatey bitterness. It's a beautiful shot of espresso that you want more of. So now we're gonna look at what happens when we adjust the grind a little bit coarser. So to adjust, we deep press this release here, and we're gonna adjust to a larger number. We're at like just above five, we're gonna go to six, and we're gonna try that. Each time after we make an adjustment, it's very important to purge any of that other coffee out. So to purge, we're just gonna run the grinder for about 10 seconds. We're gonna take all of the coffee out of the dosing chamber, and we're just gonna throw this away. And we're gonna start fresh again. We have our 20 grams. And because we adjusted it coarser, espresso comes out very quickly, and we're probably gonna have way too fast of extraction. And that was about 18 seconds. It's way faster than you're gonna want for this espresso. This espresso is gonna taste it's kind of sour because it was extracted too fast. And it does, it's a little sour and boring. Now let's look at what happens when you adjust the grinder to fine. So we were a little over five. Now we're gonna depress the lock, adjust it to a smaller number, and go slightly under five. One thing you wanna be aware of is when you're adjusting it towards the fine side, you can actually lock the burrs together, and when you turn it on, nothing happens, and you kinda of sit there and look at it. But if you don't turn it off right away, you can actually burn up the, the motor of your grinder. So when you're going towards the fine side, be very careful you don't lock the burrs, which is exactly what happens. You see when I turn it on, nothing happens. So I'm gonna, if you turn your grinder on and nothing happens, it's a sign that you adjusted it too fine without doing any grinding. So I need to go back slightly coarser, otherwise I'm gonna burn up my grinder. Now that I've ground a little bit, I can probably go back finer, and it's able to handle that now. So I'm gonna purge again by running the grinder for about five seconds. So now we're gonna look at what happens when you dose, you have your grinder adjusted to fine. And our extraction should happen too slow, which is exactly what we're seeing. The espresso doesn't come out. When it finally does come out, it just kind of drips. This is a sure sign that you've adjusted it too fine. As you're adjusting your grinder, we're primarily going off of our extraction time to tell us if we're too coarse or too fine. Extraction too slow or too fine. Extraction too long or too coarse. Um, but it's also good to use the rest of your senses. So I like to take a little bit of coffee from the doser basket and fill it with my fingers and feel what it feels like when it's too fine. Then we can adjust the grinder back to too coarse. And let's look. And then I like to look and feel what it looks like I like to look at what it looks like when you're adjusted too coarse. I can feel it with my fingers and feel that the particle size is a little too big, it's very rough, and I can see 
very clearly each individual ground of coffee. That's a sure sign that it's ju adjusted to coarse. Now let's look at what our coffee should look like when it's adjusted just perfectly. We can see with this coffee, you can see the particle size, but it's not clumping. This is what it, espresso should look like when it's adjusted perfectly.